raise up your two hands to the heavenlies and let your amen roar like thunder. I decree upon you by the power of the God of Elijah that all those who hate you because of your destiny and glory shall be terminated by fire in the name of Jesus. And any arrow assigned to make you die on timely death shall backfire sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Any power seeking for your face in an evil mirror shall die with their mirror in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost shall arise and disgrace the laughter of your enemies. And disgrace the laughter of your enemies. And you shall go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. A louder amen. Father, we thank you once again for another time before your feet. We thank you for what you have been doing in our lives in this place. We thank you for this wonderful Sunday morning. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us. Anoint us by your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. For quite some time now, we have been examining the theme, Who Am I? It's going to get a bit deeper this morning. And it's good for you to pay very close attention. Since we started this series, I've received so many letters of people who sat down to pray. Sat down to pray to, because they want information. Because like I've been telling you, information empowers a man. Lack of information deforms a man. This is a very serious matter. And a lot of people have received information. Take for example, this sister says anywhere she went, they will first of all welcome her with open hands. She seemed to be the darling of everybody. All of a sudden, people change. Don't want to see her. The sucker, and she was going from place to place until she began to listen to this series. First week she prayed, second week she prayed. All of a sudden, as she prayed the second week, the Lord took her to a place where a woman was delivering a baby, and they were, the nurses were encouraging the woman to, to push. The baby came out. The mother who was delivering the baby asked the nurses, male or female? The people said female. Said no, no. I don't want this one. I don't want. I don't want her. I don't want her. So the nurses also asked her to shut up. And the vision cleared. Then for the first time, she knew that since that day, the spirit of rejection had been following her about. I'm praying for somebody here. If there is that kind of spirit attached to you, following you from place to place, I separate you from that spirit in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. These are outstanding things that have been happening. The other one, another sister too. She said she noticed even at the age of 25 all the men who approach her for marriage they are 50, 60, sometimes 70.
that one day she was even standing at the bus stop. And the man with walking stick walked up to her, an old man, and said, I want to marry you. That drove her into serious anger when she had these messages. And the Lord told her, Go and ask your mother how you were delivered. So she went. And that woman was able to remember that, that, that there was a time she was very sick. She was pregnant of her. She was very sick. So they took her to one old native witch doctor. And that one said, well, I will heal you on one condition. Now, when you give birth to this baby, I married the child. And the mother said, yes. But then, before she was delivered, the Abali's native doctor had died. That is what is responsible for what is happening to her now. I'm praying for somebody here once again. Any unconscious covenant that wants to keep you in bondage, that is attacking your future. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. God ordained Jeremiah even from his mother's womb. God ordained John the Baptist even from his mother's womb. A lot of things happen at that level. There are prayers to pray for you to send investigation down to your origin. Number one, you need for God to show you the secrets of every satanic investment in the foundation of your life. Two, you need to ask the Lord to show you every hidden childhood poison. Hidden childhood poison. You need, to, you need to pray for, to know that secret. You need to also pray to know the secret of every tree not planted by the father growing in juices to a child. Number four, you need to find out the secret, the, the secret of every satanic seed growing in your foundation. Like I told you, the principle of scripture is very simple. Whosoever asks, receives. If you don't ask, nothing will be shown. But if you ask, you will be shocked. What everyone may say, well, this is why you've been battling. Say, but uh, I, why, why hasn't you told me all these years? Say, but you, you never ask questions. You never ask. We should still pray these prayers until we are correctly positioned. Number six secret you will ask about your childhood. That every that you want to know the secret of every serpent and scorpion planted in your life, particularly if you have a polygamous hope. Particularly from a polygamous home. If you are from a polygamous home, can you rise to your feet and pray this prayer like there is no other prayer to pray? It is not a gentleman's prayer. So if you are here to pray, gentlemen, you better see that. Don't even bother. <laughs> Don't bother. We're talking about something planted when you don't know what, who you are. Who you, who you are. Something planted when you did not know who you were. Can you shout this loud and clear? Plantations of polygamous witchcraft in my foundation. What are you waiting for? Damn! In the name of Jesus.
Somebody has started to break through already this morning. Somebody has started to break through this morning. But Catholic Ayaboshendera Bakanda. In Jesus' name we pray. I said coming back to that prayer. The six secrets you should find out is to find out about the glory killers entrenched in your foundation. Glory killers entrenched in the foundation. Seventh question to ask. It's so, it's so ask for the secret of any problem buried in my childhood to pollute my future. They, they buried it there, but you didn't know it's buried there. It's like Jesus asked those simple questions. When he saw this small boy manifesting, so how long? How long has this been troubling him? The parents said, when, since he was a child. It's, you need to know the secret of any childhood bondage. Battling with your adulthood. I will say that. Let me slow down a little bit for you now. So you can understand this deep but complex topic. We read from the book of Luke chapter 1. Verse 41. Luke chapter 1. Verse 41. Are you there? Luke 141. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth had the salutation of Mary, the babe lived in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Elizabeth had the greetings of Mary, the mother of Jesus. The baby in the womb lived for joy. In the same Luke chapter 1 verse 44. Say for lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the baby lived in my womb for joy. Meaning that the baby had lived in the womb for joy. In Psalm 58 now, look at the opposite one. Psalm 58 verse 3. If you take this teaching seriously, it will definitely be the beginning of your unending laughter. Psalm 58 verse 3 The wicked I am strained from the womb They go astray as soon as they are born Speaking lies Meaning that A person could be wicked From the womb The person could be a witch from that womb. The person could be a familiar spirit from that womb. They are a stranger from the womb. They go astray. As soon as they are born, they just start going astray. That's why some people find it so difficult to give their life to Jesus. Even those who study science and those who study about childbearing and pregnancy and things like that, they have been able to show through their studies that babies in the womb 
they can know whether they are wanted or they are not wanted. That unborn babies, they can hear. They can feel. They can learn in the womb. And that the experience of a child in the womb can shape the attitude and expectations about that child. When there are deep, persistent patterns of some terrible feelings in the mother, it affects the unborn child. Even a father's feeling about his wife and the unborn child can affect the pregnancy, the child. If that womb is friendly, the child may be predisposed to good health, happiness, normal development. But if the womb is unfriendly, the baby may be predisposed to bad health, nervousness, be very irritable, and have arrested development. Science has also proved that sound has an impact on the unborn child. Children in the womb can pick up any anger, quarrel, yelling, screaming, fighting between mother, mother and her father. And that will escort the child into real life. This is where many of us need very serious prayers. Very, very serious prayers. I was at a university campus to minister to the young ones. And we're talking about marriage to them. And I asked. Uh, all the sisters who are there. If you want to marry a man like your daddy, the husband you marry, you would like to be to it for, for him to be somebody like your dad. Stand up. Out of almost two thousand students, only one sister stood up. The others did not want to marry somebody looking like their father or behaving like their father. So it shows you the seriousness of this matter. So the voice of Mary carried an anointing. And that anointing went into the child. It connected with the baby. The voice of that holy woman had an impact on that child in the womb. Let us suppose that the person that visited Elizabeth that day was not Mary but a witch doctor, a, a, a witch from the COVID. A satanic priest. That voice too will have a binding effect on that baby. So voices heard in the womb have deep effect. Prayers pray for a child in the womb has deep effect. Curses issued on them have deep effect. And most importantly, where your mother goes is very, very important. Jeremiah 1 5. So before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified you and I ordained thee as a prophet unto the nation. That was the program. But if the enemy alters it from that womb, which is possible, then there is a problem indeed. This is where very serious, violent prayers are needed here this morning. Not only here, but when you get home, particularly in the hours of the night, particularly before you sleep, some serious prayers are needed. 
This may be why things have been going a wire and these things are not going the way you want it to go. Satanic programming from the womb will lead to terrible repercussions for the future. And if you don't know about it, you will not address it. And the person may even die like that. Many who are listening to me now, our forefathers, our father, they did not serve the living God. They serve the devil. So meaning that in your pregnancy, the kind of information you are getting is from the devil. The kind of thing your mother was eating or drinking from the devil. So you can see where things have gone wrong. The first six years of life are the foundational years. By the time somebody is six, the structure of the character is formed. By the time you attend, the thing is already set in concrete. So we need prayers. Meaning that what we may want to be praying against now, meaning that what we're supposed to be praying against now, might have been set in concrete 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, since, since at 10, it's already set in concrete. When people now become leaders with fractured foundations, then they get people and themselves into trouble. When there is problem emanating from the womb, there will be resistance to normal prayers. Normal, gentle prayers. Resistance to that kind of prayer. There will be deliverance failures. A be constant dream harassment. Unexplainable hatred. Serious character disorder. Spiritual blockage. And sometimes sicknesses. For example, when couple fight and fight and fight during pregnancy, it's been linked to people having asthmatic attacks. Because of the effect of the quarreling you are quarreling on the baby in the womb. If your father was beating your mother in pregnant state, it has an effect on that child. Can you raise up your right hand again? And please, this is not a negotiating prayer. You can see that we're not here to joke or play this morning. Can you shout this prayer loud and clear? Blood of Jesus! Arise in your cleansing power! Can I hear you shouting this loud? Wash my roots in the name of Jesus! Name we pray. Have your seat. Let me now go to specific examples. <laughs> so you can know how to tailor your prayers this morning. This is spiritual and medical research. When a child is not wanted, they don't want that child. But now the child is born. There are things that will begin to show up. Characteristics. 
patterns of attitude and behavior after birth. That child that is not wanted will always be striving. Striving. Always seeking to perform, to perform, to perform, to excel above others. The child will be struggling to to earn the right to live. This kind of child may have inordinate desire towards the opposite sex. Rejection will follow the child. They get angry very quickly. Sometimes they wish that they die. Sometimes it's frequent sickness. Sometimes it's problems with bonding with any of the parents. They don't like the father, they don't like the mother, they don't like any of them. That's why you find some children that just run away. No contact with father, no contact with mother, they just abandon the whole family and run away. It could be effect of the fact that they were not wanted from the womb. Two. When children are conceived out of wedlock, no marriage, no engagement, no introduction, they also brought you like that. Number one, you have escaped from the covering of the Almighty who has ordained that children can only be born inside wedlock. So, such children, as far as God is concerned, they will have some deep sense of shame. They will be struggling. And they will will have spiritual blockages. And they need to pray that one really hard. Because when there is no cover of marriage, that child is already born into a deficit. Children that are born, when the children, when the parents are too young, they're too young, they're not really ready for marriage. That is, the person was a mistake. You were a mistake. So the person was mistakenly born. Out of fornication between two young people. Of course, that child will have challenges. The child will have attacks. The child may not be able to do what others are doing. The child will be unruly. The child will be rebellious. And the child too will be very loose with the opposite sex. Because they gave birth to the child when the, when the parents were not ready. The tragedy of our world now is that children are giving birth to children. When a 13, 14 year old is impregnating a 16 year old, 15 year old girl, children are giving birth to children. That's tragedy. When the mother of a child has very poor health and the child is born like that, this child will grow up with guilty feeling and sometimes going from one sickness to the other, from one sickness to the other. Those are the effects that happen. I'm explaining this to you, just speaking examples here and there. <laughs> but your major information should be your prayer that Lord, show me the secrets of my life. Show me beneficial secrets about me. Show my house to my house. Show me to me. Show me every secret I need to know about my childhood. 
show me what I need to correct. These are prayers you should seriously be praying these days. In this year of the valley. When a child is born, and both parents consider the child as the wrong sex, they wanted a male, they're getting females. And that child is born like that. That child will have sexual identification problems. Sometimes that child will be involved in terrible sexual perversion. And sometimes such children have this defeatist attitude. Yeah, I, was, I was not wanted anyway. Then, this, then the spirit of rejection also follows. Some people call it bad luck. But it's actually the spirit of rejection. This is where we're stopping this morning. We're going to continue. We need to stop here so that we can have time to pray these prayers. All eyes closed. In case you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Please do so right now. By saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. To say that short prayer with me, the ushers and the counselors will be with you. Or you can share our number on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Rise to your feet now. Somebody pray these prayers. <laughs> The kind of prayers I've been praying in weeks. This person has a strange case. The body was always hot. 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 All medical tests negative. Hot. Hot. She's, she started praying. All of a sudden, God opened her eyes. She saw a pot on the fire. A woman was standing by the pot. I was boiling something in the pot. Something to like go and look at. Go and look inside that pot. She went there. It was blood. The woman was boiling. So, so this is why your body is always hot. We need secrets to fight in this warfare. Secrets to fight in this warfare. That's why I want you to pray like a man or woman from another world. Can you open your mouth and shout this loud and clear? Let your voice be the loudest here. Satanic investments in the foundation of my life. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. Open your mouth, 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 open your mouth. Your mouth. Satanic investments in the foundation of my life. What are you waiting for? Die in the name of Jesus. Masekatenda la kaya bo shende rabo kusotunda yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. We used to sing one song and we still sing it occasionally. We used to sing evil plantations come out in Jesus' name. 
It's a strong prayer indeed. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every tree the father has not planted that is polluting my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Makate la kaya bo shende raba. Ribo sopo la kaya bo ko shente rabo ko po la bakatanda. Da ribo sope dike. De ketende ke ya bo shende rabo santa. Da katenda la bo ko setende ya basanda. In Jesus then we pray. There be silence. Perfect silence. Ah, see what is going on. Perfect silence. Some aggressive angels are in the midst. They are removing things from people's body. Silence. Don't say anything. Something is being taken out from the head. From the chest, from the backbone, from the womb, there are plantations of darkness. The tree that the father has not planted. You can't hide. Today is the expiry date. You have been working in this life for long, causing all kinds of confusion. But the word of God has revealed your identity. Loose your hold where you are. In the name of Jesus. See what is taking place. See what is taking place. The hidden serpent in the body is being dragged out. This satanic wedding rings on your fingers. Now you didn't know where there. That has been connecting to stubborn spirit as man. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For the next few minutes, we want to sing this song. Make sure that your clapping is the loudest. Your voice is the loudest. Then please, just concentrate. Concentrate. Don't allow your mind to go here and there. Let your clapping be the loudest. Let your voice be the loudest. And then concentrate. The resurrection power work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles in my life. The resurrection power work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles. Sing it loud and The resurrection power work miracles in my life today.
Can you shout this loud and clear? Every satanic plantation in my foundation there in the name of Jesus yes Open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this with hatred. Serpents and scorpions. Planted in my childhood. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh 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 yes. In Jesus name we pray. My father walked to my childhood days and purge my life. Can you shout this loud? Walk to my childhood days and purge my shout it again. Shout it a third time. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. When this next prayer starts, Many may feel very dizzy. Some may not be able to stand. But even if you fall down, continue praying on the floor. If you are feeling dizzy, you can sit down. But you need to pray the prayer with all your strength. Powers! Planted in my childhood. Trouble my future. Damn! Open your mouth and pray. Back cap to say, Ribo Sepela Kayabusha. Mana ribola katela kaya boshente raba ribo sopo yes thou power of God move 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 in the name of Jesus. Things are still happening. Things are still happening. 
Yes, that's why you are feeling dizzy. Things are happening. Something is coming out of you right there. See. See what is being removed. See what is being extracted. Something is coming out from under somebody. Yes. Is it planted into your life for years? Yes, yes, yes. Get us up ready. It's time to pray it one more time. One more time. Yes, that is the power of God coming upon you. That is the power of God coming upon you. To trouble my future there in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open that mouth, Bapi Kasa. Bakapola kaya, bakapola. Yes, don't be tired. Don't be tired. You cannot be tired in these prayers. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move, 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 move from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Move, 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 move from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Move. Aha, 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 aha. Aha. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This year, you must arise and shine by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Aha, uh-huh. see so what is happening now. Let her go. Let her go. I don't care how long you have been in charge. But let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Remove her womb. Release her womb. Release that womb. The powers that have removed the womb, release that womb now. Release the head. That I've stolen away. Release it, release it, release it, release it. Release it. Yes. Aha. Receive the power of new beginning now. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Father, continue to lay your hands upon your people. As you go into this week, it shall be well with you. The Lord will give you uncommon testimonies. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To you, Father, be the glory. To you, Father, be the honor. To you, Father, be the adoration. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength, from glory to glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Surely.